In war games, there must always be an enemy or target ship. This, the Utah, has been equipped as a radio-controlled enemy. The signal, abandon ship, and all hands go over the side. Aboard another vessel is a delicate control mechanism which sends radio waves to the abandoned battleship and the Utah is navigated without a man aboard. Chief's orders to find, attack, and destroy the enemy have been received aboard the aircraft carriers. At the zero hour, planes take to the skies. Battleships and cruisers, planes are shot from catapults. These trained gunnery observers must be in the air before the command commence firing. Their duty is to correct the firing range of the big guns of battleships and cruisers. from shore stations, these planes may either perform submarine patrol duty or engage in combat with the enemy. They carry bombs or torpedoes and are ready for action. On the sea and in the air, working as one unit, the Navy goes into action. firing.
command, cease present exercise. The war game ends. by hard work, constant training and close coordination between the ships on the sea and ships in the air that the Naval Air Force has won the right to be called the most efficient in the world.